And away we go. It's the nightcap right here on BearcatJournal.com. As always, brought to you by our friends at Galactic Fried Chicken. Visit www.galacticfriedchicken.com. Download the app, Android, iPhone, everything galactic. Get yourself some delivery, get yourself some carryout. Stop in and uh, dine in at their location in Dayton. Get you some tendies, get you some sauce, and uh, get your galactic fix. Heron Smith, Chad Brendel. Fairly busy day today. Like it's, there's, there's quite a bit to talk about. We, we've got some topics, if you will, for the nightcap tonight. So let's get to that, Aaron. Cool. First off, the the newsy part of the day: AJ McGinnis in the transfer portal on the basketball side. Yes, uh, brings the number of portal openings up to three. Um, unfortunate because it doesn't feel like AJ really got a an opportunity here. He had a bad ankle sprain and he was sick for a while and kind of never really got a chance to earn his spot in the rotation. Um, but he was the, the, the 12th guy on the roster and sometimes those tough decisions have to be made. Um, I'm sure AJ would, would love to have had things work out differently when he transferred from uh, Greensboro with Wes Miller Right. But that's that's the business side of basketball, unfortunately. Um, hate to see him go. He was a good kid. Uh, from what I got to experience and be around him, he was fun. High Always energy. had a big smile, high yeah. energy. Um, so uh, it sucks. But now we're at three. That's kind of where I thought it would land. Um, the portal is essentially open until May 1st. Uh, and there will be... You know, it'll be interesting to see if anything changes once they start adding guys. I feel like the roster changes. Like, does it does it affect anybody else? I feel like someone in social media is missing a huge opening here where like there should be a, an official transfer portal announcement where it's literally like a gif of a portal opening. Like, like yeah, and you just throw the kid in the portal. Like, <laughs> get out of here. Like, like Dr. Like, Strange, like. <laughs> He's shooting him out of like a like a, a cannon, like the the human body cannon. You just load the kid up, uh, and instead of falling into the net, he just goes into the portal. There should be something it happening with the, with the portal opening and the portal closing. I mean, if there there's something as simple as like, um, it's the Saturday Night Live, like finally it's the weekend or something, whatever whatever that is, but. Yeah, I mean, there was huge, huge opportunity miss with, with sure. this whole yeah, sure. portal <laughs> opening and closing. Yeah, huge opportunity. Huge opportunity. <laughs> um, but now the number is at three. So we'll see what they do with it, right? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it's kind of where we expected it to be. Um, outside of any surprises, we still don't know where the decision lies with uh, David DeJulius. I would assume that. You know, Davenport's not going anywhere. I would assume no. at this point, uh, uh, um, Odie's not going anywhere. Um, we already knew Newman had announced, so I, I think that pretty much solidifies everyone at this point. Well, uh, like I said, it'll it'll again. We haven't heard anything w- one way or the other on on Micah, so haven't heard see. anything on Odie or Hensley. I mean, there's a couple right. of them, but that would just could simply be as simple as what is there to announce. No news is I'm good news, right? Not going anywhere. What, what is the? I'm I'd not. Like to, I'd like to formally announce uh, I'm staying at Bearcat Journal. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I. You know. I'd like to announce my intention to remain the owner of BearcatJournal.com. Um. So yeah, the, the the fun on the basketball side is now you know what what some people consider the fun. Now there's recruiting to be done and spots to be filled and content to be had. So stay tuned to the basketball board, and as information arrives, I will pass it along. Um, let's get to football. Uh, today was kind of a like almost a, I don't want to say sad, but like. Kind of a bittersweet day at practice. Um, 
First off, did you watch the, the post practice video yet? I've been moving large okay. furniture and dealing with kids so, on spring break. So essentially, Dan Horde, the first week of spring football was doing the AAC tournament, right? Mm. And then they were on spring break. So mm. so Dan missed the first week. Mm. And boy, Luke was riding him hard. Like because he took right. a vacation. Well, he wasn't on vacation. He was with basketball in Texas. Oh, all right. Not, yeah, I mean, I guess he, he was giving him crap basically for that Saturday and Monday not coming to practice. <laughs> um, so before the interview cameras turned on, he was like, uh, Chad's been here. So if anybody has questions, you have them, to, give them to Chad. And Chad will ask me because Chad's the one that's been like. <laughs> and it was directly. And he kept giving it to him throughout the interview. It was so funny. Like that's Luke. If you give him a chance to ride your ass, like he's gonna he's gonna lay it on thick. Like he's he's got shots fired at all times. I've been. If you watch the videos, you know I'm usually at the uh, receiving end of those shots. So yes. it was nice today to be the good guy. I was the good guy in the story today. It was, it was wonderful. I wasn't I wasn't used to it. Looking down from your ivory tower. I hear you. <laughs> hey, in like six years, it's like the second time that I've been gonna, a good guy. Not very often you find the key to the ivory tower. Right, so. right. There's usually somebody at the door, like at the gate with the key. Like uh, it's, it's Dan. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but it, it, I walked in today, and as I walked in, Kobe Bryant was was chatting it up with Brady. Uh, so I stopped and talked to them for a little while. Des walked in and a little later walking down the sideline and there was Alec Pierce and Sauce was there. And MyJ was there and Curtis Brooks was there. And it's like, like the, the reality kind of hit, like, you know, we'll, we'll see all these guys Thursday at pro day. Mm. Um, but this, like, this is one of the last times that we'll see all those guys like hanging around, chopping it up. Because this we go through this every year, right? The week of uh, you don't know the but the, the week of pro day, all these guys are making their way back into town because they want to get a co couple good nights rest before pro day starts. Sure. Um, and then pro day hits, and then after pro day, they they scatter again. And the next time you see them is on TV on Sundays, and like maybe at a homecoming game or you know, right? And it it, it sucks because like especially this group. Like these were all guys that got on the field young. So these are guys we've been working with, interviewing, chopping it up with, like, you know, laughing after practice every day. That that ride is over. It's like, damn, like it, it's almost like the the end of an era, uh, in a lot of ways. And it was like, you know, kind of not not sad, but just like you start thinking about it, like wow, like. Probably not going. Probably not going to chop it up with AP much anymore. Probably. So uh, the, <laughs> there's been a running joke from the SID department for pro day. He's like, because pro day usually like it's it's me. There's no media there. And me and Justin and like we just kind of roam around from station to station. There's going to be a, a, a report. Well, reportedly by me. I love when I say reportedly, and I'm the one that reported it. It's like some kind of weird inception. <laughs> From what I heard, there's going to be like 80 NFL executives and scouts there. And we're talking like owners, GMs, head coaches. Um, so they're like the media, you're going to be like in this space. Right. And the only thing I'm worried about is Chad paying attention to the rules. Chad, you have to stay where the media is supposed to stay. Because then if you start wandering around then everybody's going to think that they can wander around. So they were, they were, hold on a second. What are you, hello? <laughs> Kelly just walks in on the phone, just chatting with, with her mom or somebody. I need a, an on-air light. Right, you need a light. Yeah, yes. I need a light. Like, we're on the air. <laughs> she walked in, looked at me while I'm talking into the mic and was just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Good God. So so they've made it very clear that I'm going to be contained in a in the spot where all the other media are going to be contained. So right before Fit came over, I was like, Des, when when he comes over, tell him that 
that I'm with you all day Thursday, and we're filming a a, a, a documentary. <laughs> so Des was like, Zach, Chad's with me Thursday. Like he, you know, he's got full access with me to come around and shoot. Like we're filming some stuff. And you could see Zach's like the the, the blood he just walked, he turned around and walked away. <laughs> oh they hate me over there so bad. <laughs> it should be a nice surprise for him then when he finds out that you're not actually tailing him all day. No, he know he knows I was okay. and then after the interview with Luke, I was like, Luke, I'm with you Thursday, right? You and you and me? And he was like, Yeah, you've been here all five days. You, you... <laughs> Whatever you need. So it, it makes total sense, though, that it just hits you today. Because, I mean, if you go back to even the the AAC championship game, we were all caught up in whatever we were all yeah. caught up in in that moment as far as, like, this the first season after COVID or this is, like, the, the, well, and the loudest bowl and Right. The loudest night I've ever heard in my entire life. This was the, the you know, these guys have been here longer than anybody in school history, really, as a group. Right. Um, so there were so many different thoughts and, and feelings and emotions going through your head in that moment. Um, in the Cotton Bowl, even like you're not necessarily in that moment, like, oh, damn, this is the last time that I'm going to get to see these guys because, again, you know, the pro day is coming. So, I mean, totally makes sense that like it just hits you today that this is going to be the last time that you see these guys because you've even still, I would imagine, over the course of the last couple of weeks, seen them here and there. Yeah, and like even, they're, even know, if not you, like like the coaches have seen them. Yeah, here and there. for sure. But yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just different, though. Yeah, it's just different, though. Um, I, I don't know. It just you just it's hard to think like we're gonna we're gonna keep going. Well, and that's you know you, that you, you have to remember like that's the machine, right? If you remember, mm -hmm. like you know, Mark D'Antonio's second year, they were the youngest team in the country, and then you saw all those guys move through in '08 and '09, and you know. And then the cycle started all over again. Now it took a little while to recapture that that full level of magic that you had with that bunch, right. which could be the case again. Like that's just how this stuff works. But um, it was just an awesome group, you know. It, like all those yeah. guys I mentioned, um, it was it was awesome. You should have Sauce had some kind of like like dealer car or like loaner car or something. And you literally, like, it was not your ordinary V6. You could hear that thing, like, five minutes after he pulled away, up on a different part of campus. You could still hear when he hit the... <laughs> yeah. It was like, oh, sauce but, is over on Calhoun. But, but did the doors lift up? No, it was like an SUV. It wasn't a sports uh -huh. car. It was like a, like a souped-up That's even more SUV. impressive if an SUV is making noise like that. Oh, yeah. Like, it was... It was up somewhere by like uh, the bookstore, and we were at the Linder Center, and you could hear it. <laughs> That's great. Um, practice today. A couple notes, like I said uh, in the in the start of the notes. Like today, I was just bouncing around, chopping it up. You get caught up sometimes in those days where you know practice isn't exactly the most uh, pressing issue. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's some notes up on practice and some things I saw. Without giving away too much of the notes, I did want to pick your mind on one thing and one thing only. Okay. Blue Smith had another good day because everybody yes. knows that I'm a big Blue Smith stan. So can you tell me a little bit more about his day? He caught a couple nice passes, uh, and like the. What do you, what do you what would you like me well, to I mean, tell you? Were, that, were like, there like any any like catches where you're like, oh, I didn't know you had that in your arsenal, or was it like? No, it was pretty standard. He had okay. a couple. He had he had a, a 15 just, yard catch from Ben, I think a 17 yard catch from Ben. Just hitting um, stride, or was it like time? Yeah, just running or? running pretty good routes, and you know, one was over the middle, one was out towards the sideline. We're not. Um, so here's the deal. I'm going to stop writing about blue if I have to do this every time. Well, you told me that I'm allowed to. Dive in on one thing to not give away the rest of the notes. So I dove in on one thing. It caught my interest. I know, which means that it's that's not going to be, be the one thing. It's not going to be blue that... every time, but I, I thought I'd, it's been a while since we had practice. I thought I'd get a blue update. No, Thank you. Like, it, look, I want to write more about blue. When he has a good practice, I will write about him. Today, he, he ran a couple nice routes. He made a couple nice catches. 
Um, so I wrote about it. I mean, Nick Martin, Nick Martiner is going to be a star. I don't know about a star, but he's no. going to be an, a significant addition to this offense. Like Good. star would mean like he steps in and replaces AP. Like, yeah. right. Yeah. I don't know that that's like, that's, that's a second level. Correct me if I'm know. wrong. He has two years left. He'll have a COVID year. So he played three years. So I'll have this year and then a COVID year if he wants it. Um, we did. I, I I talked to him a little bit after practice as we were walking back towards the lender center. I said, how you like it? He said, it's, it's a little colder than Hawaii. <laughs> it's just a touch colder than Hawaii. I just wanted um, him. I just wanted him to make the noise at you. Like, like the, the predator noise where it's like, see, he doesn't get to be the predator. Why not? Because Brian Cook was the predator. I mean, why can't that be a thing? They passed the number one down. Des was number one last year. Yeah, you, that's not how nicknames where you don't just pass down nicknames. Des was not number one. Sorry, Sauce was number one. Yeah, Sauce was number I one. I digress. Um, no, he's not the predator nearly as much. Brian Cook was terrifying. To you. Yes. You looked at him and didn't get a little hurt. No, not like Curtis Brooks. Curtis Brooks was terrifying. <laughs> that that just always with the her. Yeah, that that. Uh, okay, and, that, uh, yeah. That so you talked to Martiner, and and it, it seemed like a really good kid. We're gonna have to get him on camera soon, and uh, and chat it up with him. It seemed like an interesting kid with a with a good story to tell. Um, and he said he's 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 enjoying his time. He like the, apparently that Hawaii situation was bad, like internally, culture wise. Um, Not something well, yeah, from out there. Well, they the the coach got ran off. The whole team basically left. Like it was. It's a pretty nightmare, like, you know, abusive mean, coach type situation. I just mean in general out in Hawaii, it's usually a, a very. Sure. Just, Unless you've got a shitty relax. abusive coach. Yeah, that's. <laughs> then that makes the experience not nearly as enjoyable. Um, so we'll get him on, on camera here sometime soon. I, I like him a lot. I think next week or the week after they're going to let us start talking to transfers. Um, we get quarterbacks next week. So I'm excited mm. for that, too. Okay. Um, but cool. uh, that, that that about sums up the day. Yeah. There's more on Bearcat Journal. We've got a visitor list uh, from Mick Walker, some notes for myself. The video from Coach Fickle is there, as well as right here on this uh, very YouTube page. So make sure you check all that out. And uh, pardon the punctuation. Tonight, tonight live on nine, YouTube. 9.15. You got a guest, or you guys just free-flowing, winging it? There's, no, there's so much to talk about tonight. Um that I don't know that we needed a guest. Okay. So, um, but don't forget, uh, there is some some baseball coming up this week. Yeah. Pretty big, savior. pretty big baseball this week. We'll get to that as we get a little closer, but yeah. So, all right, that wraps it up. He's Aaron Smith. I'm Chad Brendel. Galactic Fried Chicken is the sponsor. Bearcat Journal is the home. This is the Nightcap. We will see you tomorrow night. See ya!